What are you now? I think it's gonna be a lot easier to just side mount all these. Well, the main question is the kind of what you want to make, whether it is good against air, I mean, the focus whether it is against air or other units in front of it. I would be willing to put two of these underneath. I'd be willing to do that. Do it. I mean, show you a screenshot. Let me just get a screenshot up. Do it. Make sure. You... There you go. This is my uh, NPR hover version keyboard. And all the guns are top mounted and probably one or two is top mounted. Yeah, I see, but I'm trying to go for something a little more... a little faster. Yeah, well, that one, this one's made out of flat blocks for tankiness, but you don't have to get for use to follow the same design. I mean, it's not the best build, because uh, that was before I knew how to use arrow rods. Oh, see, I don't even like using arrow rods. I consider them bad. Yeah, but for the gun mounts, I use um, the ice blocks. But the thing is that this bot has all the guns on top, so they, sh they do very well against air. And it's quite tanky as well. I might have to do a rework of this bot, but in the meantime... I can just make do with what I have. Yeah, um, but the thing is that this bot has only three hovers which are fully hidden, cannot see them. And the last, then they're the last things that you will lose. I gotcha. But I think we're focusing on different things. That's that's the issue. Yeah. Well, you don't have to put all blocks like I do. Yeah. So the question becomes in making a build like this, uh, do you want to have all your normal SMGs side mounted? Or do you want to have your mega SMGs side mounted? You know, having a wing design like my bot isn't a bad idea if you want to keep things compact. Yeah, I think my hover placement is the problem here. Which means I'd have to redo that part of the build. Well, you know what? It's been two hours of building. I have a gun layout and I have a hover layout. I'm just gonna finish up what I have. I don't consider it, I don't know, the best, but it'll do for now. No, I still have the bot I showed you, and it's quite effective. Yeah, that's actually a good idea to put the hover more in front. I mean, I do the same for my mega bot, right? but it actually, need, it actually needs four hovers, not three. Because the front one's a bit much heavier, so it falls in front when it goes out of here.
When they're going for a very light build, you don't have to armor the coward and die bot in armor. Oh, I understand. There's a... I want to cover a lot of it, is the way to put it. Well, you don't have to have to cover the hover from below. I don't see, you expect someone to shoot that it's from below, but you don't usually have to cover it from below. Oh, one thing I need to do. I need to mark where I should not let any blocks touch. So the bit of triforcing I just did was to, uh, I'm going to start coding the whole bot, and that was to avoid um, hitting where my hovers are mounted to the core.
And now I just did the bottom so that I still have the connection to the top that I wanted to have. But I didn't ruin any of the triforcing um, for my hovers. But, you know, airlocks can actually be very helpful. Oh, yeah. But, uh, I mean, sometimes I consider it the easy way out. Where there's, like, you might do better if you were, say, just using a prism string. Oh, because when using, um, if you use... So if you use the longer sticks and you make them make it part of the structure in the sense that uh, it sticks out from the structure of your board instead of from the outside, then it will go very well compared to just prisms. Why? Well, for one thing, it's part of the structure of your board, so you've got armor around it. And another thing is that it means that plasma doesn't easily dig on you. So you can do something similar, I think, to what you're talking about. I'm gonna build it on the floor here. Like you can, you can actually annoy people if you build a gun bed, which uses long arrow rods um, for the guns, and you know, puts them into the structure instead. So that way, people won't be able to easily gun you, and you will annoy a lot of people. You know, I might make one just for the fun of it. <laughs> so, are you talking about this? No, no, no. I'm talking about the gun beds. No, but w how are you using the arrow rods? Oh, uh, like in the mega part I showed you, uh, the guns are all connected using arrow rods. No, but can't you do something like what I just built? Um, well, I've done something similar to what you built, uh, in the sense, and why I did was, let me just find the bot to see if I actually have it. Because hover it or something else. If you do something like what I just built, the you get more, you, you get more total health. Because right here I have a, what could be like an arrow rod, um, and it's not connected to anything around it. Ah, oh, so let's find it. This what? Oh uh, yeah, I have a mag which I have two mega SMGs on it. But mega SMG is uh, three collection points. One of it is connected to a plate, one to, to an arrow rod, and one to a TX block. So I use all three. And legs, I use long arrow rods so because they don't touch each other. But why does the long arrow rod help? Because it has more health than a shorter one. So plasma is still. Uh, don't be going straight away. But why wouldn't you just use a whole bunch of prisms in a line? They would have even more health. No, it's not against being shot at physically, it's against the damage from a plasma or real gun transferring to the block. Well, yeah, and if you have a bigger HP pool... So, in my stream I have an example of a fake arrow rod one could make. Um, an arrow rod, a long one. That's 2,800 health. Yeah, but the damage is divided equally between all the collection points. I still don't get your point, but... 